Hey guys, how's it going? I uh, had a request for a video to do a video on how to blend in Photoshop. Uh, sounds pretty basic. Well, it is. It's extremely basic, but a lot of people that already know how to digital paint probably think you know it's a bit of a pointless video. Everyone knows how to do it. But I remember uh, starting off before I used Photoshop. Uh, it was a very different way, uh, in a different program. I think I used MyPaint, and I had to search on YouTube to find out how to do it. So hopefully, for some people, this will help. So you can use this for colours, but I am just going to start, I'm just going to use a black and white grayscale, let's call it. In fact, let me just change the background colour first before we start. If you hold down Alt and Delete while you've got the background layer selected, there you go, nice little trick for you. Alright, I'm going to block in a few shades, although I could do it with just black and white, but but for no reason I am gonna block in a few anyway. So this is just me using a hard brush at the moment. Uh, we are gonna swap to a soft brush in a second. I'll just show the difference. So with the black, this is a hard brush. You can sort of see the edges are hard edged. A soft brush, for example, has a soft edge. Pretty self explanatory, but yeah. Right, I'm just gonna duplicate this. Um, to do this, I hold down Control and then Alt at the same time, and you can just drag this down, and it brings it to a separate layer. Right. So with the soft brush, I'm going to use the color picker, and you can do this by holding down the Alt key on your keyboard and just selecting the white. I think the color picker is down here somewhere as well, so you can use that, and you can pick colors from here. But this is the best way of doing it. I'm going to make the brush bigger. Uh, so with the white selected, you want to blend that first into this grey, this lighter grey. Now, depending on how good your, uh, your graphics tablet is, you might have quite good pen pressure, so the lighter you press down, the lighter it does it. And that's that's fine. Um, if, like me, I'm not that great at um, you know, using pen pressure yet, or your graphics tablet might not support it that well, you can just turn the opacity down. So that is that is already slightly blended, but then I would select this colour a little bit more, just blend in. Then select sort of the mid-tone of them. Same again. So it's just a case of holding down Alt to colour pick, and just going in and keep doing that. So for example, pick the light grey, blend it a little bit on there. I'm going to turn the opacity up a little bit from that actually. Dark grey. Pick this mid-colour, sort of go over that a little bit. And yeah, that's pretty, you can't get much more basic than that. It's really easy to do. That's why when you're watching videos of artists working, you don't usually notice them doing it because, well, they're quite fast there. But, but as I say, it's just a case of holding down the Alt button. So nice and simple, really. Just finish this. That bit of blending isn't that nice. Neaten that up a little bit. I might have gone dark a little bit too soon, but hopefully you can still see what I mean. I prefer to use a larger brush because with the soft, soft edge, large brush, I find it a lot easier to sort of blend. Turn the opacity down a little bit more. And it really is that simple. Now that sort of looks a little bit silly purely because, you know, you can see all the edges, but let's say for example we cut this uh, once you've got a box selected like that press control and X to cut that um, and there you go hold down the control button to move this you can put that back in place no I can't, I'm not accurate enough but hopefully you can see from that that is how it's blended, whereas before what we had was uh, again control and X and then sorry control and V to paste that so that's cut and paste. Let's see if I can get the right layers so that's what we're left with um, and yeah that's pretty much it, you can use the exact same method for other colours as well, you know, that's just using black and white, but that's how simple it is. So again, just a quick reminder, 
With the brush tool selected, hold down the Alt button to select a colour. Uh, use a fairly soft edge brush. This one here, I think, goes on pen pressure for how much you press down. This probably pen pressure probably affects the size of the brush. I'm not sure about that first one. And you might want to play around with the opacity a bit or even the flow. But you can get something like that, and it's really easy to do. Right, guys, I uh, hope that helped. If it did, please comment, let me know what you think, if you've got any questions, and subscribe if you like my channel. Cheers, guys.